So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to copy files from an external hard drive taken from a laptop because uh, it's quicker to transfer the files this way uh, and to copy them onto another computer. This is running Windows 11. So first of all, you want this icon on the desktop, this PC. If it's not on your PC, uh, right click, uh, go to personalize. Scroll down to themes, click on desktop icons, and then select computer, and then click OK. Right, so when you go into this PC, we've got Windows hard drive, and then we've got this D drive, which is this drive here already plugged in. And first of all, we want to open up this one. Okay, we're going to this one up again and we're going to go into the D drive so I'm going to bring that window drag it to Windows resizes it 50% and then release and then go back to the remaining window and click so now you've got Windows and the D drive so what we're going to do is we're going to dig down on the contents of this previous hard drive from this laptop we're going to double click on user and it just so happens to be a user account that we were copying now I'm going to copy the desktop now we want to put them somewhere so we've got a again when the C drive so we want to click on users and this one has been named Graham so you can see desktop there so we want to copy the contents of this hard drive because in this desktop, there's nothing. And this desktop's got a bunch of files. So we just simply right click on that desktop folder. Because it's Windows 11, we've got these icons. So we want to choose copy. And then this is where we're going to put them. And we don't want to right click on any of these folders. We want to put our mouse in a white space. Again, right click brings up the context menu. And then we want to choose paste, which is this icon here. Now it's copying. Sometimes it might actually do a replace files, which we do want to do. Replace, done. So now we've copied the desktop from a previous laptop onto the desktop of this Windows laptop, Windows C drive. So if we minimize these windows now, you'll see that the desktop is now filled with icons because we've copied that photo. And you can do this for every other photo, documents, pictures, music, whatever you want to copy. And that's the steps to take.